This is the story of Matt Pham. He was born in 1972 in Quy Nam, Central Vietnam, and he immigrated after the Vietnam War. Matt's father was a medic who supported the United States Army in the fight against the Communist Party. After the war was over and the Americans left, Matt's family were labeled as traitors by the Communists because they helped the Americans. Even though Matt's family were considered wealthy at the time, they would often go without eating as they were put in back of lines for food. Matt was one of six boys in the family. In Vietnam, when boys turned 13, they were made to go fight a war in Cambodia. Most boys would die in these wars, so his parents made the choice to leave for America to protect their six sons. When he was in third grade, his parents woke him up in the middle of the night. They paddled down the Mi Chong River in a canoe for seven days until they reached the Delta. His parents paid money to have people smuggle them out of the country on fishing boats. A communist Coast Guard boat was shooting at their boat trying to stop them from escaping, but they were able to get away. They were at sea for seven days and six nights. On the sixth night, they ran into a storm where their boat capsized off the coast of Malaysia. Forty-two people were in the water, but luckily everyone survived. They swam to shore and were taken to a refugee camp for six months. They were then sent to another camp in Indonesia for three months and then transferred again for three weeks in Singapore. Because Matt's father had served as a medic helping the U.S. Army, the U.S. government flew them to the United States. He arrived in Atlanta, Georgia in June 1981. He was eight years old. Matt remembers how cool it was with all of the cars, big roads, and grocery stores. The people seemed all big too. He had been in refugee camps for almost a year where people were smaller because they were malnourished. He had to learn English, which was really hard for him. He got bullied because of how he looked and because of how he spoke. In middle school, people chased him in cars. It was scary for him, and he had to run home from school every day. Matt's first real job in the U.S. was working at a kid's camp in the kitchen. The U.S. has given him so many amazing opportunities, like finishing school and playing football in college. Matt decided to serve six years in the U.S. Army as a way to help the oppressed people the same way his family was helped when he was a kid. Matt says that if he stayed in Vietnam, he and his brothers would have likely been killed. He was very lucky to have escaped, even though it was very scary for him.